Hello and welcome to the TU Sports Desk pregame report. I'm Donovan Hugel alongside Olivia Alangi. And Olivia, it's homecoming week. Yeah. Every year we get a really exciting matchup during homecoming. And there's a lot of hype around this year's game in particular as the number 23 ranked Memphis Tigers come to the link today. Both teams have had successful seasons thus far. But what do you think? What can the Owls do to get another big win today? Yeah, so the Owls are doing pretty good. The Tigers are averaging about 40 points per game, and the Owls are just giving up about 17.2. So I think it's a really important game. Um, I think players like Sean Bradley and Coach Rod Carey need to, you know, center themselves around this game, and uh, they know what it means to them. So they talked about it at Tuesday's practice, and take a look. Challenge to face your second ranked team this year? Absolutely. I love it. I want them all to be ranked, to be honest with you. Why is that? Uh, it's just more of a challenge, more of an emphasis. You know, we always, everybody always doesn't believe in us, and we're the only ones that believe in us. So playing a big opponent like that, that's what we want. How about facing Memphis this week, another ranked team? What would it mean for you guys to go in there and take care of business? Yeah, it's going to be a big test for us. You know, um, real physical on defense, real good defensive line, good defensive backs. You know, the linebackers play hard. Um, they don't show many different looks, but you know they're gonna they're gonna come out from the first snap to the last snap and give us a test. So and we're gonna have to come out, match their intensity, um, come out and trust our game plan like we do every week, and um, I think we should be good. Um, uh, Memphis coming up here, and I uh, got a lot of respect for them, and uh, you know who they are, what they've done, and, and how they're playing this year. Um, dynamic, dynamic uh, running back, and I know they got one still that's on the shelf that may be back. Good offensive line, uh, guys who can really uh, go on the outside along with their tight end, a quarterback who delivers it on time. Linebackers who can really run, uh, defensive line that's extremely disruptive uh, from their defensive ends to their inside guys. And then a secondary that is going to change it up on you and challenge you at some points and they like to keep you guessing. Fine. It's your first one. It's yeah, okay. I know. I'm getting okay. it all out now. All right. And you know what? We've seen this type of narrative before this season. When Maryland visited in week three, they were ranked 21st in the country and were averaging close to 71 points a game. That ended up being a big win where the defense led the way. But comparatively, the offense has not been good as of late. Since throwing for 686 yards and seven touchdowns in the season's first two weeks, quarterback Anthony Russo has thrown for just 593 yards and four touchdowns since. Yeah, to say the least, I think the passing game definitely needs to step up. Um, Russo needs to find targets like Jaden Blue and Isaiah Wright and um, take the load off the running game for a while, yeah. And it's something else that the Owls might do is bring in backup quarterback Todd Centeno to keep the Tigers guessing and to give them a different look. Centeno is more of a mobile quarterback that can get out of the pocket and run downfield. And when he got the chance to play in last week's win versus East Carolina, he played pretty well. Yeah. Today's game starts at noon, so make sure to pack the link and grab your popcorn because it's going to be a movie. For Olivia Alonji, I'm Donovan Hugel, signing off for Temple Update.